Hey everybody, I'm Dejanae for anybody who does not know. In today's video, we are going to try this style right here. So this has been a cute summer hairstyle that's been trending and I just really want to try it on myself. Now, I am not somebody who knows how to do feed-in braids or anything like this. So we're going to do this the best way I know how. And it's going to be super beginner friendly because like I said, I really don't know how to do it the most professional way. So this is my hair, I mean, not professionally washed, um, freshly washed. So I'm just gonna start off by parting. I'm doing simple parts. They're not gonna be super clean because you know, we trying to do this at home. For the most part, I think they came out pretty neat though. Um, our hair tends to lay and part and stuff by like routine so my hair is used to being parted in certain areas so it just kind of naturally formed it's like my hair is kind of trained to be um to lay a certain way or be parted a certain way so yeah we're just going to divide this section and i would recommend for you to actually do this hairstyle on dry hair and, and you'll see why later so I'm using a Jamaican black castor oil. I'm gonna apply that evenly throughout my hair. I'm gonna do it um, throughout like my hair, but also on my scalp as well. You wanna make sure that this looks clean and good. You wanna make sure that your scalp is juicy, your braids don't look dry, you know, all of that. And then I'm gonna part out my edges. Now I'm going to pull out more than my baby hairs. I'm going to pull out my edges as well because I'm going for that wispy baby hair look. I don't know what changed, but you know at first we used to like for you know the baby hairs to be laid like on the scalp like tattooed to the scalp but now this whole wispy baby hair look is actually kind of cute i'm kind of feeling it the only thing about it i will say is like if you are outside a lot once that wispiness <laughs> sweats out it kind of just looks rough like it just looks like rough edges not even gonna lie to you but it's cute for the moment all right, so now I use some edge control. I applied it on my hair and then I'm using Eco Salad um, to go on my hair as well. I personally like the edge control look better. It just makes everything look more clean, um, but I didn't have that much edge control to like go throughout all my hair. So I just used um, gel to back it up. So whatever works for you, the edge control just has a more clean finish and it, um, it's stiff. it makes the hair a little bit more stiff. So it's easier to grab. Sometimes it can be hard to grab curly wet hair like it kind of slips through your fingers so that's just that tip I believe the edge control that I use is touchdown I did a review on them a long time ago I'm not even sure if that video is still public on my page but that edge control is really really good so you can purchase that from your local beauty supply store but I'll also try to find a link and put it down below as well I'll try to find links to all the products I use for you all so I'm starting off by like grabbing small pieces of my hair and just braiding it to my scalp. The key to this is to kind of smooth your finger through your scalp. You kind of want to graze your finger across that scalp to create a little part and that's going to give it like that clean, I don't know, stitch braid look. Um, these aren't the perfect stitch braids. I know a lot of people use their pinkies when they do stitch braids and they have like an extended nail to help give them a nice part. Some people even go in and use their comb to part for the stitch. Um, as for me, mine didn't have to look that clean for the look that I was going for so what I'm just doing is using my index finger because it's easiest for me and I'm just kind of grazing my finger along the part that I want to um, start pulling and braiding that's going to give you that um, clean look Oh, yeah, that is really the routine. I'm gonna do this all throughout my hair and I'm gonna do four braids.
but on another note how's life going for y'all it's like going good um this summer for me has been you know a transition i got a lot of different changes going on right now so it's been a transition for me some good and some bad some stuff i'm working through so yeah the update but what's going on with y'all how's life for y'all leave a comment down below let me know what's going on if y'all need me to pray for y'all or y'all need to uplift the message or everything's just going great and you want to share some good news you know encourage somebody let's let's have a little conversation in the comment section okay let me know and this right here sorry but this right here is what i'm saying as far as it's easier to braid on dry hair um just be easy to maneuver and then you can see that my curly hair is getting locked on each other as i braid down it's giving canacalon vibes and so if you want to avoid breakage or just that frustration then um blow dry hair is going to be the best for you All right, now it's time for the fun part. So I'm using Freetress Equals Deep Wave Crochet Hair. I cut it in half because my hair isn't long and I'm going to um, crochet that into my hair. That's gonna give it that extra wispy curly look all throughout. Now you can play with this however you wanna do. You can put as much or as less as you wanna do it. You can put it in the same sections as me or you can space it out whatever way you want. You can even add beads here. I think beads with this look would be cute. I think some little, uh, what do you call those things? A little gold uh, hair accessories would be cute. Like you can really make this really fun and festive. For me, I can't do all that with my job, unfortunately. I know y'all hear me say that all the time because it really be getting one because I really wish I was that with my hair, but I really can't do all the different styles with my hair because it's not food safe. But anyway, so yeah I'm living, I'm living through y'all tag me please tag me if y'all try to um do this style tag me on instagram okay. so i can see it and i can repost it i, I really want to see y'all try this style because it was so easy to do i mean maybe if you don't know how to braid it's not that easy but if you know how to braid it's an easy style
and now we're gonna put in a bun because i could put in a bun and we're not gonna pull that hair all the way through we're gonna leave it in this bun like look and how cute and whimsical is this oh my god now look at them edges all right so now we're gonna get some edge control and we are going to lay this i found that for that wispy look um it, what do you call it yeah eco styler worked best for my hair texture because the um edge control just kind of made it a little too stiff um and you'll see i have some straight pieces that didn't really want to curl so the edge control didn't work as well for this style the um gel was easier because you know curls your hair is gonna curl up more with eco styler so it gave it that wispy look all right y'all this is pretty much the end of this video if y'all have any questions please let me know if you have any other different comments please let me know and please let me know how y'all doing i really want to know how y'all doing so uh, let me know but this is the final look and how cute is it like i knew this hairstyle was cute and everybody kept telling me it was cute but like when i look at the video i'm like oh wow that's actually really cute especially the back of the hair because you, know, you can't see the back of the hair it's cute i want you to look cute too so do this style and tag me so i can see you do it Thank you. See you later.